only in my videos and with a bloopers reel because let's be honest I am human and I make entertaining mistakes so I thought to myself self let's put the funnies at the beginning of today's video and mix it up so enjoy laughing at my expense success no thinking biff biff <laughs> let's face it to shift those no or, no just my releases no <laughs> So don't feed into the negativity. Negativity, negativity. <laughs> Them something. Did I say turns? <laughs> Being a morning person, per person, and <laughs> brain fart. Dust keeps flying in front of my camera. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. If it's your first time to my channel, my name is Joanna and I produce content that is intended to uplift and motivate you to be and attain anything that your heart desires. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button as it really helps my channel to grow and reach more amazing people like you. Today's video is going to address how to be patient with the law of attraction and stay motivated when you're trying to manifest something. Be sure to stick around to the end where I will give three general life success tips. So let's dive in. We are an impatient species, aren't we? Even more so now with this fandangled interwebs. We want what we want and we want it now. So while we focus on what we want as though we have it now, how do we stay motivated and not get discouraged during the process? Let's face it, we're making big shifts here. We get how the law of attraction works in theory, but we just don't buy into it full steed right out of the gate. There's a lot of resistance getting in the way and we really have to overcome that. It takes a bit to shift our beliefs. We don't fully trust that this is how reality gets created. There are just certain things that we want so badly and it's hard to feel detached about it because we have expectations and we get attached to certain outcomes. This stuff happens to every single person who is consciously trying to create their reality. You are not alone in your struggles. You are not deficient in any way or incapable of making the necessary shifts to make those realities come true. So my first suggestion would be to accept where you're at. Let's use the example that you want to manifest a thousand dollars. You need to accept that you don't currently have the thousand dollars, but you're expectant of it to come soon. A little side note here, you don't need to know how it's coming to you. You need to let God and the universe figure that out for you. Let go and let God. Do your best to not get in that mindset of, I really, really need that money because that's a lackful mindset. Remember, you get what you think about. So when you get into this negative, needy headspace, you're going to just get more of the same and it's just going to keep on recycling. So don't need anything. Shift your perspective to appreciate what you have and be expectant of what is coming. Going along with that first point, be mindful of what you do have and be grateful for it. When you start to genuinely feel grateful for what you do currently have, the universe is going to bless you with more good. Some would call this good karma. I am grateful for waking up today. I am grateful that my heart and my lungs functioned while I slept through the night. There is so much to be grateful for. Do some meditating. Doing breath work and meditation will, will center you and put you in alignment with your desires. Have you ever noticed how shallow your breathing is? I know sometimes when I'm working and my, I notice my breath will become really, really shallow. And it's not because I despise my job, it's just because my breath has become so shallow. Sometimes all you need to do is a five minute breath work session and you'll feel so much better. You didn't even realize that that was an issue. 
I'll show you how to do this. Try this with me. Now I'm going to inhale through my nose and exhale out my mouth. And your exhale should be longer than your inhale. Okay? Three, two, one. And all you need to do is do that five, ten times. And you're gonna just notice how much better you feel. It's that simple. When you're relaxed through meditation, this is the point where ideas and suggestions will come to you from your subconscious mind. And this is the point where you take the inspired action and go get yourself that thousand dollars. Another suggestion would be affirmations. And I've said this in an earlier video, how powerful affirmations can really be when it comes to manifesting. Not only do they reaffirm your desires with God or the universe, but repeating them daily reaffirms it within you and in your subconscious mind. <laughs> Another suggestion would be to stay away from what triggers you. Surround yourself with positivity, whether it's people or your environment. Surrounding yourself with positivity is vital to your well-being. Continuing to be around those people who constantly complain or have a gloomy outlook about various things actually weigh down your soul. If there's someone that's been in your life for a long time and you just can't get away from them, do your best to limit their complaints on your ears. Now, your manifestations are not determined by outside sources, but more reaction to those sources. So don't feed into that negativity. Acknowledge that you hear them and be briefly sympathetic to whatever they may be complaining about, but don't let their problems become yours. You can either change the subject or try to put a positive spin on it. And for the love of God, please turn off the news. Turn away from the screens and appreciate what is around you or who is with you. Now, you don't have to do all of these suggested things. Just pick and choose whatever feels comfortable and natural for you. Now keep in mind that these suggestions are not a magic cure-all that are going to bring you your manifestation. What these suggestions do is they raise your vibration and in turn that aligns you to the frequency of your desires. You just need to stay there long enough. And the way you stay there long enough is to be consistent with them and have faith that it's coming. If at any point you're irritated with this or it feels like work, then stop because you're not in the right mindset. Try to focus on other things that are not related to your manifestation until you feel positive and more hopeful about it. Success tip time! <laughs> Dork. Become a morning person. Morning people have been proven to be more productive than a typical night owl. Now, I'm not saying you need to get up at 4 a.m. every day. You know, everyone's life is different um, if you've got kids or other things happening in your household. 4 a.m. just might not work for you. But try to be up about between 5 and 6 a.m. This is my ideal time. Now, if you guys don't know, I have a nine-year-old autistic son. And that 5 to 6 a.m. time is glorious, quiet time. Make your bed when you first get up in the morning. I know a lot of people are going to laugh at this saying, I don't even bother, but trust me, do it. You're getting up, it takes what, two to three minutes? And it just, it's, it sets your day up for productivity. And you have one thing checked off your list already. Drink more water. I'm sure you've never heard that before. Our bodies are 70% water on average. In the morning, reach for that glass of water. You wake up very dehydrated, and if you happen to have a headache, then you're probably very dehydrated. Don't say, oh, but coffee has water in it. Coffee also has caffeine, which is a diuretic, which goes straight to your kidneys and makes you go to the bathroom more, essentially releasing all that hydration that you just consumed. So just drink the water and your organs will be thankful. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming by. If you like the video, go ahead and click that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and please subscribe to my channel as it really does help me out. Um, if you haven't come to say hi on Facebook or Instagram at Willow J Co, the link should be down below. Um, please do so. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and I think that's about it. So much love, good vibes, and choose to be happy. Peace.